Hi guys, welcome and thank you for coming back for another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my weekend reset to help my upcoming week be more productive. Now, as a mom of five little people, there is no two weekends that are the same because my little kids are very active outside of school. But as a stay-at-home mom, one thing that is constant is I am always cleaning. So in today's video, I'll definitely be sharing with you some cleaning motivation. So let's get started, you guys. One of my favorite things to do on a Saturday here in the South is to go thrift shopping. And one of the mom and pop stores that I enjoy shopping at sells potpourri by the pound. And what they do, they sell it according to the season. So I needed to grab me a bag because I know that I wanted to have that relaxing, fresh scent in areas of my home that really needed it so here i'm sharing with you the shopping of my potpourri guys it smells so good so good On this particular Saturday, the kids weren't as busy. So after enjoying the morning of thrift shopping, I went home to tackle that cleaning project that needed my attention immediately <laughs> from little people's sticky fingers and constant spill, you guys. Let me tell you, these chairs really needed my attention and I was so grateful that I got the chance to use three products that I did not know would have made such a big impact in getting my chairs I must say white chairs as clean as it did if you've never tried these three products together let me tell you you need to if you have stains in places that you thought would not have come out you need to try these three items it did a great job So what I did is combine the three products together, the Dawn soap, the baking soda, and the um, peroxyl with some warm water. And I put that in my shampoo. When I started to clean, I would pre-soak the areas that had the stain the most and let it set for a little bit. Then I would go in and just give it a good scrub. And guys, I can honestly say that I am satisfied with the way that these three products work to clean my white dining chairs. It looks brand new, you guys. For the legs of the chair, I just wipe that down with a damp rag to get off the dust. I didn't want to put any chemicals on the legs of the chair. But after that, I went ahead and put my dining chairs in the yard because it was a really nice sunny day. So I put it in the yard so it can get some sun. And after putting it for three hours in the sun, I scotch guard the chairs with a spray of scotch guard that I got from Walmart for under $10. okay you guys so did yeah are you mm, i don't even know what to say can you see how dirty that water is it was dirty those chairs look brand new 
looks so good it smells good and i can tell you i am satisfied with these three products and how well they did my cheers Guys, because I was so satisfied with the results of using the Dawn soap, the baking soda, and the peroxide in some warm water, I just went ahead and just decide I'm going to clean my carpet. I'm going to shampoo this carpet today because I like how well my white chairs are looking. And I want the same results for my carpet. So I just did it you guys at this point i have been cleaning for hours you guys and two things were happening to my body that i needed to take into consideration and the first one was i was feeling cold second i'm hungry <laughs> so i'm about to go and take a break fix me up some lunch which will be a slice of salmon on a healthy bed of salad first i like to spray my instapot with oil and then i go in with the seasoning on both sides of that little salmon i like to use a little bit of salt on both sides black pepper and seafood seasoning when that is done i place my salmon on top of my salad and take a little not just a little but a whole bottle of synergy because i need it you guys and then when i'm satisfied full and content i'm gonna move over to taking care of my little girls here for the upcoming week now for her here i don't really do it every week i do it i would say um once every two months but today i needed to get it done so i've already washed her hair it's just left for me to go ahead and start braiding it in the box braids Today was a very productive prep ahead for the new week 
and now that I'm done braiding her hair I'm gonna go ahead and put the mousse on her hair to tame down any frizz I like to go in with some edge control as well but guys if you have any comments concerning any of the hair products that I've been putting in her hair go ahead and put it in the comments section if you did enjoy this video i would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up as always i want to say thank you so much for coming back time after time to be a part of my life's journey i hope that i pass on some motivation today and i want to say to you guys don't forget to take care of yourselves love each other well and as always i'll see you in another one stay blessed you guys